Fernando Caballero misses the way he used to be. Happy go lucky, the protector of his family and the life of the party. But now he uses a walker or cane while battling pain, muscle weakness, and numbness. Perdí mucho. Caballero speaks Spanish. His daughter Amalia is translating. He just feels very trapped. In the spring of 2021, Caballero got the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. A Toronto Public Health investigation determined it led to Guillain-Barre syndrome, a rare neurological disorder. Caballero was forced to leave his job as a maintenance custodian. He applied for compensation through the federal government's vaccine injury support program more than a year ago, but is still waiting for his claim to be processed. In the meantime, he's had to go back to work. I wish he didn't have to work, not have to worry so much for the family. The program is open to those who were seriously and permanently injured after getting any vaccine, not just for COVID since December of 2020. Since launching in June of 2021, 774 people have applied. So far, eight have been approved and 71 turned down. The rest are still waiting. The consulting firm running the program says all applications received vary in terms of nature, complexity, and several other factors that could impact the timeline for processing. Of the more than 87 million COVID vaccine doses administered in Canada, 21 confirmed cases have been linked to GBS, according to Health Canada. So serious adverse events are extremely rare. Dr. Karina Top researches vaccine safety and adverse reactions. She says a person is more likely to get GBS from COVID than a vaccine. These vaccines are very safe. Cabajetto has been told his condition likely won't improve much more, but he's hopeful, tracking his progress by his dance steps. Hey, hey. <laughs> Angelina King, CBC News, Toronto.